Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Victory. This is Brotherly Love. So this is, um, I mean, they explain some of it on the can, but I actually have to look it up. So human kindness, universal sense of human kindness inspires courage and ignites positive change within our communities. But I'm uh, surprised they didn't actually mention it on the can. Uh, a lot of the proceeds of this beer go towards uh, helping homelessness, which is a great cause. And uh, yeah, good for them. So uh, they did it with a hazy IPA, 6%. It's uh, all the cheap drops, like Citroen, and Mosaic, Eldorado, Simcoe. And it's Best Buy August. So we're quite a while away from that. This should be very fresh, right? We're basically three months away. So I don't know if they put a six month on this one, then it's not that fresh, but we'll see. Uh, a little bit of like um, protein, yeast, not probably protein, kind of like a little bit, float, a little slight hint of floaties, but Really nice kind of white gold color, medium plus hazelnut, medium to medium plus fluffy white head. Mm. Not the best nose, but definitely sent some oxidation. Again, warm shelf, like, I gotta just find a better place. I mean, I, I know GB's does end up um, chilling a lot of their beers, but total wine is a rough time. But I try to keep relevant and it's just like hoppy, lemony, a little bit of oxidation cheers. Nice crushable New England IPA, hit by oxidation. Not terribly, but again, it passes peak and it's noticeable on the palate. Super drinkable. Um, I think a little bit of this kind of like herbal menthol y thing that's like that, mm, not really herbal, it's paper baggy. Yeah, it's cardboard. Super crushable, 6%, nice beer, but again, not the best date. Um, hey, you think this beer is good to August? <laughs> I would, <laughs> again, Victor, I would, I would test you to try this beer in six months uh, or um, uh, in August. <laughs> We're right at the end of May here. Mm. Sorry, we're right in April. Um, so you guys to see the review when it is probably a week, uh, week or two, but super crushable, like um, drinkable, but not super pronounced hop qualities to it. It's that new age kind of, um, large brewery kind of take on New England IPA, right? This should have bigger aromatics, but nice fruitiness, um, thin body, weeded, a little bit fluffy, but not like that big sweet thing that you get a lot of, uh, that, you know, you get the small craft breweries doing. And the oxidation lingers a bit. I don't know, not the best can you can do. You guys post comments if you've had this one fresh. Uh, probably is a pretty good beer. Um, here for me. I'm super sensitive to it, but Past peak, but it's still pretty good beer, right? Uh, let's go with solid 80s, 86. It's still super drinkable. It's still quite tasty beer. So, mm, no. I have a little chill too, so. Yeah, uh, the big thing is that, again, I had like almost no description of beer. Um, the hops are not very pronounced. There's a little bit lemony, citrusy thing going on. Maybe a bit of yellow tropical fruit. The, the body's got a nice kind of like weeded quality to it. So it's got that kind of like uh, American blonde or weeded kind of like, uh, or oated, whatever they use in malt, but a little bit chewiness. Um, and then it's dry, no bitterness at all. Quite nice, crushable, 6%. New England IPA slash pale ale, pretty good. 86, 86, good score. Uh, victory, bird of the love. Until next time, guys, cheers, later.